So one of the most interesting thing happened that night was uh, we saw um, Israel intercepted basically every missile and every drone. Um, some of them above the um, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Temple Mount. And you saw pictures of one of the holiest place for Islam yeah. with rockets coming, rockets and missiles coming from Muslim country yeah. and Israel intercepting them. The, the, the so, iconic picture, yeah. The iconic picture, exactly. So you like, you tell yourself, wait a minute. Are uh, they trying to bomb the mosque? Maybe, 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 maybe I'll put it up a second. Maybe I'll put it up, the picture. Hold yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, do it, I'll do it after. Yeah, I'll do it after so an editing. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll so. go on. So from, from our perspective, we were like, you're, you're mad. You're mad. What are you doing? Like, how can you <laughs> fire rockets on the place you see as one of the holiest places for Islam? Like what would have what would have happened if we wouldn't intercept these these missiles? The following day, in some Iranian newspaper, the illustration, the graphic they made was very interesting. They actually captured the, the very same scene, um, and they they made the uh, intercepted uh, missiles and drones as you know some rocks firing rock something like mystical um like um some sort of miracle that uh, rocks are firing and going towards um the um uh, the alaxa mosque and i was very confused for a second because i'm like <laughs> these rocks that you like okay you made an interpretation that these rocks are not only coming from iran but they're coming from god but they are going in direction towards the place um, you see as holy. 